Captain on the bridge. All right, captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we got some things to go over. The Star Trek Online X feed so on screen. Yes, captains, before we get into this video, do us a huge favor and hit that like button to help the overall channel out. But also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing here to the YouTube bridge. We're always on the lookout for like-minded captains to share our love, passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now, with that said, here we go, captains. I know you already saw the thumbnail. We're gonna leave that till last. Firstly, though, we'll go over what is on the XP, the new blogs there, drop the two ECs, and then at the end, give our conclusion. So, first up, earn additional fleet and reputation marks in-game on all platforms this weekend. So as of the drop of this video, this already started. So this is already live. So we're a little late on this, but again, from August 22nd to the 26th, on all platforms, we are running a special event where captains can earn bonus marks by playing content throughout the game. During the events, content that provides marks, fleet, or reputation will earn a 50% 1.5 times bonus above normal amounts. This bonus is available for all content that rewards marks. Start building your fleet projects and reputations. We hope you enjoy the special events and we'll see you in game. Of course, there is an event going on right now on PC, the flagship, and of course on console bridge is a good day diet event. Great time to just get those marks to again, build up your reps, get the gear that you need from that. But if you're done that, you can always use those marks to of course, convert them to dilithium or so enjoy that captains until the 26th so there's that next up the patch notes here so Star Trek online of course this was already done and we'll just go over the patch notes so this was for August 22nd so as a drop of this video this is a couple of days ago already but what is it on PC of course it was the start of the flagship event which we already covered which we know was already coming but it is part five. So again, it is play through the multiple events this year to earn the T6 Infinity promotional ship of your choice, two free tier six Zen store coupons and 1500 low buy. Now we already finished this event. And of course, we're gonna do our recommendation videos here, hopefully within the next week here. So, Cause I know a lot of captains are asking, well, I'm not sure what I'll get. What do you th recommend? So we'll drop our ECs here shortly hopefully like i said within the next week as of this video so what is it of course it's the flagship celebration and the tfos including this is the borg disconnected the upita Uratus swarm and synth wave of course the fastest one is upita Uratus. concentrate captains on closing those portals as fast as you can 15 is all it needs to trigger the next phase and then there you go. Usually you can get this done within within 10 minutes if everyone is stationed in the alpha, gamma, and beta sections and just closing those portals. But of course, the reward is the temporal disorder. And it's a universal console. Is it? Temporal disorder? Yes. No. No, it's not. It's a Kimmer set. That's from the old... Uh, that is from the old... A good day to die event. I think they just forgot that there because it is the Kinemer set here. The Kinemer Defender space set is the reward. So you just need 14 days of progress and it comes with the Alliance Regenerative Shield Array, Alliance Hyper Impulse Engine, and Alliance Effect Array. We already did a video on that. We'll link that in the description below there. And of course, on top of that, when you finish it, you get the three times featured TFO reward boxes. Of course, a single character reward. Each gives one specialization point or enhanced universal tech upgrade. And of course, a 25k dilithium ore for the single character. So if you want to use this on an alt, go ahead and go in that alt or tune your main, whatever. Open it on that so that you can get that deal on that character. Of course, we always recommend to keep doing the event after you're done to earn, of course, the bonus dilithium. It starts at 8,000, of course, goes up from there. And you can still get the marks, which is also additional to lithium ore. We don't recommend the Zen buyout option, but it is there for you. And of course, there is that second chance if you so need that in my cap. So again, that is the flagship celebration event. We already did that. And of course, this will be linked in the description below as well. So on console though, 
It is the event campaign part four, which is the A Good Day to Die. This one comes with the Universal Console Temporal Disorder, which of course is the one that spawns multiple copies of your ships. So we have yet to use that, but I heard it's fun, so we're gonna try to fit that into in a video too as well. But this one, Captains, we recommend to just do To Hell With Honor, quick and easy, but also Defensive Star Base one isn't that bad either. Both within 10 minutes, I believe To Hell With Honor is a little quicker, especially if you have really quick ships, because all these TFOs during the events are always on under normal, so it's pretty easy to get through them. And of course, everything applies to what we went through above in terms of the other rewards and bonus rewards and send bio and second chance and so forth so there you go but also additional to the console notes the aurora and quasar variants of the science vessel family have been totally remastered this was already done on pc now it's finally on console so there you go to those who have the nova as your main ship there are now more space barbability options Removed an extraneous lamp on the back of the Narendra and Narendra Betas hull where only one light source should exist. Didn't know that was a thing. Resolved an issue causing some of the Narendra and Narendra Beta hull decals being invisible when viewed from most angles. Resolved an issue with the Sao Paulo class variant of the Defiant family which caused Type 5 windows to be offset from the ship's hull. Resolved an issue with the Kelvin Timeline Vengeance Intel Dreadnought Cruiser Saucer Spotlights that caused them to look incorrect when viewed at certain angles. Resolved an issue with the Mirror Crossfield Open Shuttle Bay having Starfleet Insignia instead of Terran Empire Insignia. Resolved an issue on the Kelvin Timeline Constitution 2 Intel Cruiser regarding the hull registry textures missing. Resolved an issue on the Janeway Command Science Vessel regarding some mirrored Starfleet Insignias on the bottom part of the nacelles. Wow, they really went through some of the ships here. No issue with the Inquiry Battlecruiser regarding a mirrored registry texture. No issue causing the Constitution 3 Miracle Workers Cruiser Starboard Nacelle to be missing the United Federations of Planets text. No issue preventing the cruiser family of ships from using the Type 7A hull material. Resultant issue causing flickering textures in certain areas of the Aurora class's hull. Resolve an issue on the Awani command carrier causing lighting on the hull to appear visually inaccurate. I don't remember going through this on PC, so this might just be isolated on the console bridge, but there you go. That's all resolved, and there's no known issues at this point, but I'm pretty sure that there are bugs as there always are. So there are the patch notes, my caps. Next up, the Ferengi merchants have prepared some deals on captains for captains on PC. Say 15% on keys and 20% in the low buy store this weekend. So there you go. The rule of acquisition number 74, knowledge equals profit. Any wise captain knows that when a sale this good comes your way, it's best to take advantage of it. We're pleased to announce that the Ferengi merchants are putting a 15% sale on keys from August 22nd to the 26th on PC only. Now it's the best time for captains to load up on keys and grab those ships you've been eyeing. Again, our recommendations always, and captains, if you don't know, do not buy the keys to open boxes. Buy the keys on the highest, best sale that you can, 15%, not so good. I would wait for higher, but if you have the resources and you want to do so, buy the keys on sale, wait for the sale to end. So after, so for example, in this situation, after the 26th, Wait for the keys sale to go up on the exchange. Put them on the exchange for the max EC you can sell them for. Rinse and repeat until you have enough EC to buy the chip. It is better to do it that way because it's guaranteed. Opening lock boxes is not guaranteed. I've seen people open 250 plus 500 plus boxes and get nothing. So we just want to share a guaranteed way if you're going to spend real life resources anyway at least you can then guarantee yourself the ship that you want. So remember captains, rule of acquisition 22, a wise man can hear profit in the wind, now is the time to act. For a limited time only starting today, players, or at least on the 22nd, be able to purchase the key ring bundle. This special pack includes 20 master keys upon use of any lockboxes. Again, don't buy the use to open lockboxes for the price of 2250 Zen. As an additional special promotional offer when purchasing this bundle, 
Every pack also includes a single ultimate tech upgrade. Applying this item to any upgradable piece of equipment will instantly set both its mark and quality to maximum, which is mark 15 to epic slash gold quality with zero dilithium cost. That is also from August 22nd to the 26th on PC. And lastly, also the Lobi Crystal Consortium is pleased to announce their latest feature to sale. Again, from the 22nd to the 26th on PC, Captains will be able to choose from their wide selection of wares by just visiting the in-game Lobi store. All items in the Lobi store will be 20% off. It's okay. Again, it'll be part of our recommendation here. These sales do come in waves so if we miss the video for this one but i think the first video that we're going to do in our recommendation is low buy and then work our way up to the promotional the t6 promotional ship but it is 20 percent off for the entire sale now is the best time to take command of the kelvin and timeline intel dreadnought cruiser or get your hands on the boolean heavy assault cannon or fly the stars in a vaudoir astika heavy battle cruiser and of course enjoy captain so that is now already live and of course until the 26th next up here so with today's launch of the heritage ship bundle on the console bridge so this xbox and playstation of course this is live now ships in the zen store will be 20 percent off a limited time again not the best i'd rather recommend waiting for 20 percent uh, 35 percent maybe even higher hopefully they we get higher sales back like we did in the past so for a limited time on Xbox and PlayStation, 20% off on all Zen store ships. So again, from the same date of August 22nd to the 26th on Xbox and PlayStation, they're having a sale of 20% off ship sale. Enjoy not just a discount on our ships, but fleet modules, dry dock slots, and ship upgrade tokens as well. Have you been eyeing a new ship or ship bundle in the sea store? Now is the time to grab the ship you've always dreamt of commanding. There are higher sales. 30 35 percent but captains if you can't wait if you've been saving and you have the resources well there you go of course it includes all ships and dry dock slots in the sea store 20 percent off this includes bundles which are comprised only of ships this does not include bundles that have other items in them the ship upgrade token ship upgrade token bundle and fleet modules are all 20 percent off as well so there is that so that is all the latest from the x feed now of course you, captains you already saw the famous thumbnail that we use always with boimler pointing at the view screen of a new ship incoming and this i found on stow reddit now this was indeed a surprise so all credit goes to bazaar mcw now they saw this on the console bridge and i just confirmed this before recording this video we did go to the actual acquiring of ships there in esd and we saw this and look at that it's the lamar variant which is a ship from star trek prodigy now we're just going to go to this screen here from memory alpha it, the Lamar class was a type of Federation ship operated by Starfleet as a science vessel during the late 24th century. So this was meant to be Voyager A. So this is the next ship in line. Now, here, the spoiler, of course, this was actually at the very end of the selection screen of all the skins. And when you actually went to go quote unquote purchase, it actually was putting up the visor class for me at least. But as you can see here, if this is correct, we can see here the officer stations, the console slots, and of course, this is what I was more, one of the disappointments so far is the weapon configuration. It's a 4-4. We've been wanting, a lot of captains have been wanting to have a sovereign that is a 5-3, which makes kind of sense to be honest for this to be a 5-3 and we're surprised that it's still or i'm surprised that it's a 4-4 four, four, which kind of sucks to be honest with you but the console layout there it's you have five inch three tack and a two size so it's lending towards more the iso mags slottage and of course you can even add more by upgrading it to t6x2 so we're not a huge fan of this ship to be honest but this 
also speaks to the size and we're surprised that it's actually going to be sharing the skin or the base of the sovereign because that means more kit bash ability and i've actually seen some captains kit bash some sovereign parts to get their own lamar class but lo and behold and this is already on xbox so it's not like i'm spoiling anything it's actually there live you can actually look at it on yourself too if you're on the console bridge i looked at it on playstation not sure about an xbox but it is there live i can see it i can actually move the model there and it's quite surprising now that is kind of the look there if captains you're not familiar here is another shot of it right there to me it's like a mix of like a vestal looking secondary hull of course the sovereign cells and the saucer itself and there's like one of the kit bashes right there that some captains have been doing the lamar class kit bash that's also on store reddit but the deflector i don't know it, it it doesn't really speak to me and now seeing the stats it's also kind of not really grabbing me in such a way that i want to get it when it comes out now the other thing though to keep in mind this is actually in the c store so that is surprising as something you can purchase i don't know and it may still be just something that is unlocked of course if you buy it as a promotional ship which i'm probably more leaning towards that's what it's going to be is a promotional ship that you can just use the skin if of course you have the sovereign class starships in your fleet so it's it's not really the best looking ship in my opinion and then of course this is voyager a and we know from star trek picard voyager b is actually the pathfinder class so it's sort of so that you have the intrepid class and it looks like it gets bigger with the lamar class and then the voyager b then scales down again into a voyager class because the pathfinder is in the family of the voyager class starships in star trek online so Again, kind of a ship going from small, big, and back to small. I, I don't like that. I wish they'd kind of just go progress. But again, some captains might be happy because you can kit bash this with the sovereign part. So that's surprising that it is actually leaked there on the console. So we can expect some news here probably within the next couple weeks, probably within the next month, to have a blog show up here on star trek online x speed saying that this ship is coming so i'm guessing like i said within the next month maybe a couple weeks so there's that so it's something bit of a news there again all credit goes to fezar mcw now lastly not only the in you know the lamar variant is leaked on star trek online on the console but also a new skin for the rapier variants now we know lately they have been doing a lot of remasters one of the patch notes of course they did the quasar and aurora for the nova class now they're gonna be doing a rapier variant update it looks good i mean i actually is one of my favorite variants there when i first started playing and this is one of the first ships that i actually picked one it, it really does look good and it actually says you know a lot about the design where they want to bring it forward with all the ships they've been remastering is to kind of put a certain standard and get them to all that so expect another remaster blog and we may even have ourselves go back to this when it goes live as we still plan on doing so as well with the nova class variant the aurora and quasar more so the i believe the quasar that's the one that's more the current picard version looking one but that was a little bit of bonus but the big one here is the reveal of the lamar class again this ship is from star trek prodigy admiral janeway ship i believe i personally don't watch star trek prodigy i may in the future i'm not sure captains let me know if you're watching if you enjoy if you like it and if you've seen this ship in action i'm i'm curious now again as i mentioned before you can look at this ship and looking at it having a little bit more some angles for it to have a decent look it's it's okay it's a good looking ship but for some reason it's just not it's not really standing out it, it's more of like a kit bash to me of like i said earlier sovereign nacelles even the pylons 
there and kind of like the Vesta looking secondary hull with another sort of sovereign arrowhead type looking saucer. But again, it's not for me, it might be for you. So look out for that, my caps. Thought we would bring that to your attention in this video. So there is that, captains. That's the video. Do us a huge favor and hit the like button. But also comment below. Let us know what you think of the Lamar class. If this is what you're wanting, but also let me know if you're also in sort of the same camp as me when it comes to being a little disappointed that it's just another four-four sovereign. I really would like a five-three, but hopefully we get one in the future as I think it would actually make more sense as opposed to a 4-4. But if you're new here, again, consider subscribing to the YouTube Bridge and we'll leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.